Hi everyone, once again, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am doing batch recording today, so yeah, my lighting still stinks because it's gloomy outside and it is a typical fall day in South Dakota. It is raining, it is cold, it is, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm a fall girl, I like the fall, It it's yeah, I like the fall. Not much of a summer person, but I do like the fall. So anyway, okay, <clears throat> let's go through some updates again. First of all, thanks for tuning in. Hello to my new subscribers. My name is Christine. Welcome to The Budgeting Baker. New title or new title. New Etsy title name. New YouTube title name, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. So um, I have starting my I'm starting my branding process. So you'll see a lot more when it comes to baking and sweets and and that type of thing. So um, I'm moving away from the budget box. It no longer suits. You know what I mean? What I what I can do with it. <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna start the branding process. So. Um, if you buy anything from my Etsy shop, it'll be more baking related. Some of my savings challenges that go up on my Etsy shop will be baking related. Now I'm going to have a little bit for everybody, but, um, you're going to start to see more of that sweet and, you know, cakes, cupcakes, pies, all that other stuff. Not that I don't have a lot already, but you will be seeing more. So anyway, so welcome to my channel. Hey, Louie. Uh-oh. Louie can't get in. Hey, come on in, Lou. Hey, buddy. Hi, Louie. Louie comes in here for his back scratches, right? Hello, Lulu. You're a good boy. Louie is my 120 pound, 18 pound, 15 pound. After 100 pounds, you just kind of lose it. He's my 100 and something pound um, German Shepherd. So he is nine years old and he rules the roost. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway. I am out of the upper Midwest, um, South Dakota, and live in a small town, very small town, um, born and raised in New York, and I love living out here. So, um, so hi to anybody in the upper Midwest. Hi, you guys know what I mean. So today's video is going to be my part one, part one of my cash stuffing of my first paycheck in October. So I will be recording part two when I'm done with this and then I'll do my savings challenges and then I'm going to throw up some shorts um, now that I'm not working a bazillion amount of hours, bazillion, bazillion. I think last paycheck I clocked almost 30 hours in overtime, 23 in one week. That was hard. So I did take off some time last week. We spent three or four days with my grandson and it was amazing and he's just the love of my life and um, my granddaughter is just growing and, and she just, she's five months old, she's rolling, she's trying to crawl, she's just, oh. so we get to go and watch them again, both of them together because my son-in-law and my daughter are going out of town again um, for the... Um, the uh, I think the second or third week in um, in November, so now we get to see him a lot more often, which is just great. So, um, so if you don't like hearing about grandchildren and little kids, then hmm, you're gonna get a little bored because <laughs> I boast about them a lot. So anyway, okay, you're here to see me stuff some envelopes. I just Right before this, I completed my um, condensing, my bill condensing, because that was huge. So <laughs> that one was a lot. Those were thick, thick, thick envelopes, man. They were, they were, they're long overdue. So what I did, because I'm too lazy to go to the bank today, because <laughs> it's wet and rainy outside, is I took some of that cash condensing money, and I'm just restuffing it on a smaller scale back into my binders again today. I know, very confusing. We all kind of do our thing the same way. I just hate going to the bank a bazillion times a day, so, or a bazillion times a week. So anyway, okay, let's get into it. I got my cheat sheet over here. Um, so I know 
what I'm putting in what binder. So the three, okay, first, first and foremost, let's start off with monthly bills. So some of these here, um, I do need to take out because I do need to pay. Um, okay, so I'm in a squirrel mood today. And if anybody doesn't know what that means, if you ever see a squirrel, concentrate on something and then just dart off. So that's, that's my brain function today. It's, it's very squirrel like. So before we even get to binders, we're going to stuff, we're going to stuff piggy. I got a full change purse here. We're going to stuff piggy. We're going to stuff her. We're going to stuff her. So piggy is my four compartment, um, bank that I use for my, um, that I use for my change. I've got save, spend, donate, and invest. Um, I'm saving for a new down payment on a new car because I'm going to need that one in the foreseeable future. Spending, I spend that money on me. Nine times out of ten, it goes for a massage or something. <clears throat> I'm investing in a Roth IRA, and once I can get my butt in gear and open it up, I think I'll probably just wait till the end of the year and then just fund it for 2024. And then my donate goes to my local cancer walk, who I make cupcakes for every year and sell them, and then all the proceeds go back to them. So, um, okay. These are available in my Etsy shop. As a matter of fact, I sold one the other day. I was so excited. It really does. And as you can see, there's no rhyme or reason. I, I don't know. I just stuff it wherever. Sorry. Okay. Loud, I know. Sorry. So save, spend, donate, and invest. And then on the back, I can vinyl whatever it is that you want. So saving for a new car, um, spending on a spa day, um, saving or donating for the cancer walk, and investing in retirement is really what it comes down to. So this is Miss Piggy, and she is awesome. All right. I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Next up, before I forget, because it's always the end of the video, I'm like, what did I forget? What do I have extra money in? Okay, uh, this is my cancer box. Um, like I said before, I, um, I donate to my local um, cancer walk. I make about 1,500 cupcakes and I sell them, and it usually comes out to be about $1,100, not between nine and $1,100, and all those proceeds go back to them. So I made a box so I can save for supplies. Um, I do get donations. Um, so, um, so yeah, so this is my cancer box. These boxes, these kind of boxes, are available on my Etsy shop, and I can customize them however you would like. But uh, my Etsy is available or linked in the below description box. Okay. So we're going to stuff 10. Last year I stuffed only five and um, I decided to double it this year. Okay, so we're going to do two, five. See, aren't they cute? Think pink. Hey, that's what October is. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you haven't gotten your mammogram, girls, ladies, gals, kids, go get it. I'm telling you right now, it almost saved, it saved my life getting my first mammogram. It really did. It saved my life. I'm convinced. Um, so go get them. Seriously. I, I know it's uncomfortable. It's, excuse my French, but it's a pain in the ass. But trust me when I tell you, it, it, it'll, it's going to be worth it. Just that peace of mind. It's absolutely worth it. So go and get your mammogram. Insurances pay for it now. And if you can't afford it, talk to your hospital Sometimes they do have donations that they can give out towards, um, I know my local hospital does, um, for those that don't have insurance or are underinsured, um, they do have donations that come in, they can, they, they can put towards women who need it. So, especially if you have a history in your family, um, that's the big one. So, okay, you are stronger than you think. Remember that. Okay, cancer box, complete ed. Put it back over here. All right. All righty, righty, right. Oh, my contractor will be out in two weeks. Probably two, two and a half weeks to start my kitchen. 
Yay! Oh, it's going to be a good month. Very excited. Very, very excited. I've waited 18 years for this kitchen. <laughs> so it'll be out in a couple of months, in a couple of weeks to have that done. So, yeah. So things are going around my house are going to get a little discombobulated. Not that they really are not right now. Anyway, just thought I'd update you guys on that. I know I've been talking about that for a while too. So, okay. So this is my little um, uh, A7 little cash plastic thing that I carry in my purse. And um, it's where all my, my, I only carry around four separate uh, cash envelopes in my purse. So, um, so what I do with this is I get paid every two weeks. So for like food, I budget $225 for food that needs to last me two weeks. I do not put the whole $225 in here because then I spend it. So I put 112 in here for this week, and then next Thursday I put it. I I go grocery shopping. I spend 112. And then next Thursday I restuff it with another 112, 50 or whatever it is. I do the same thing with gas. I do the same thing with my me money, and I do the same thing with miscellaneous. I have learned from myself. Took me I don't know 30 years to learn it, but I have learned. That if it's in my wallet, it gets spent. So, especially if it's cash. So, okay. So, gas will get 62. So, 20, 40, 6, 60, 1, and 62. Okay. So, gas gets 62. And then I do this. So, these go in here. Is this open or closed? I don't ever know. Okay, and then I take 60, 20, 40, 60, 61, and 62. Whoop, don't need you. You stay in there. So 20, 40, 62, and that goes to the side. I put that in my everyday binder <clears throat> until next Thursday. Okay, food. Food gets 112. So he has 100, 10, 11, and 12. It's supposed to be 112.50. So this week will be 112. Next week will be 113. So there's 112. And this is the one thing about cash stuffing and, and your budget. You need to be honest with your triggers. You need to be honest with yourself. If you have a spending problem, you need to admit it. We need to put our big girl pants on and say, you know what? I suck at this <laughs> because that was the biggest relief for me. When I turned around and I said to myself, and I said to my husband, I suck at saving money. I need to find something that works for me instead of trying to basically hide behind, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Denial. That's a good word. Don't hide behind your denial. If you, if you, if you come to terms with it, then you can find a solution. The more you deny it, the more it's going to go on, the more stressed you're going to be, the more frustrated you're going to be. I realized in my spending habits that I cannot keep that money in my wallet. Very easy for me if I'm at Walmart or wherever or at my grocery store to just whip the money out and spend it. And all of a sudden next Thursday I have no more money left and I'm screwed. So I always make sure that um, I find something that works for me. So you have to find something and you're going to try and you're going to try and you're going to try and you're going to fail and you're going to try and you're going to fail. Until you find something that works for you. But you have to keep trying. And you have to admit to yourself. This sucks. I can't do this right now. Or I can't do this. I either need help. Or I need to find something that works for me. So. Just a little life lesson for me. Because that's when things turn, turned around for me. Was when I finally said. That enough is enough. So. Okay. My me money is 10. Put that in there. And then this one. That 10 goes for next week. My miscellaneous is 5. Just for, I don't know, if I should go over on something, whatever. Okay? And then 5 goes in there. So this is done. So this will save me for the next, will save me. <laughs> this is what I've saved for the next week. And, um, and then next Thursday... 
if I have any, mine times out of 10, I don't budget enough to have a lot of rollover. Sometimes I'll have a couple of bucks there and there. Um, if I do have rollover, it goes into my savings challenges. If I don't, most of the time my envelopes are empty, then I just, next Thursday, I'll take this money and put it in here and that lasts me to next payday. That's how I do it. That works for me. If it works for you, great. If not, then you need to find something that works for you. So here is my everyday binder. So this is gonna be one of seven that I'll be stuffing today. No, one of three that I'll be stuffing today. Part two, it will be the other four or six or something. Squirrel, okay. <laughs> so this is my money for next week. That will go there, okay? All right, and then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna start stuffing this. Okay, so, okay, there's something about clothes. So clothes, I was gonna put 20 in today, but I'm actually gonna take out the 30 that's in here because I bought myself a new winter coat, which I desperately needed. I actually found a decent one. It's just decent. Probably get a couple of years out of it at Walmart when I was there the other day, but it was $49.99. So, um, so I'm going to withdraw this minus 30 and this will be zero now. Okay. So this, um, I'm going to put back to the bank. Okay. I'll just put this on the side. That'll go back to the bank when I go to the bank. Cause I have a lot to deposit from my <laughs> cash condensing. So that will go back to the bank. Cause I did put it on my debit card and I used my buffer with it. So uh, I didn't expect, it's not like I planned to go out and buy one. I just happened to stumble upon it. I liked it. It was comfortable. It had all the pockets that I wanted. Like I said, it's a Walmart coat. If I can get three winters out of it, four winters out of it, I'll be happy. I don't expect a lot from their stuff anymore. But, you know, it's what we got to deal with here locally. So, okay. So clothes is empty. Um, oh, I need to take my 20. So $50 will go back to the bank. Okay, so I crossed off my clothes. Okay, car maintenance. Car maintenance is going to get 25 because I do know that at some point here I'm going to need another oil change. So there's 20 and 5. So 20, 40, 40 uh, 45, and 50. So I'm sorry if there's a glare. Again, my... Um, my lighting is terrible today. I usually have a lot of light that comes from this window over here. So 25 and this will give me 50. And I don't have enough space on my desk to do the whole, you know, ring light thing. Maybe someday. 20, 40, 50. Once I clean out my office, it will be after my kitchen is remodeled. Because behind me right now are sitting all my kitchen cabinets. So... <laughs> We'll see. That's my winter project is making sure that I get my office and my guest room done. All right. Me, myself, and I is going to get 10. Okay. These are all nice and thin and condensed down now. So I'm saving up for my next massage, which I will be due for soon. Deposit 10 will give me 50. Okay, so 20, 40, 50. I think I'm going to have to go into Sioux Falls and get it done because all the massage, well, the two, the ones out here in the next town over, the only two that I do trust are booked literally six to eight months out. Six to eight months. They're out. Yeah. Can you tell how stressed people are? It's pretty bad. It's pretty sad. Um, so this is lawnmower deposit 10. Yay. We have $200 in lawnmower. I need about two grand. <laughs> so I have $1,800 more to go. Um, oh, so this one, well, I've been stuffing it for a while, but yeah, it's going to be a while. We'll see maybe next summer if we can really, um, if we can <laughs> really, Put some, put some money away for it because we have a fairly large piece of property and it's getting harder and harder every year. Eventually, I'm just going to write a check and have somebody come and do it. So 150 
uh, 70, 90, and 200. So we'll see. But I'm working towards it. See, this is what I mean. You got to have patience. Budgeting is patience. Paging. Patience. Okay. Um, all right. Lawn mower. Me is done. Lawn mower is done. House is just going to get five. We'll throw five into there. So I've got 10, 20, 30, and 35. What is the matter, Summer? You're tap dancing all over the place here. She's not used to having all of us home. So deposit five will give me 35. Normally during the work week, she's just sleeping on the couch and now we're home and she doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> So, okay, uh, concrete is going to get five. Um, we are saving to have some concrete work done next year. So I'm going to put away what I can. You know what I mean? We may in the next year or two. Um, 20, I have, still have to make a tracker for this, 25 and 30. Um, I know we'll have to um, probably home, probably loan it again. But we're trying to get all of this house renovation stuff done before we retire and try to get as much paid off before we retire. Because when we know that when that time comes, we're not gonna be able to take out loans to this capacity. You know what I mean? So we're just trying to get it all done now. Okay, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Um, let, let's do orange. So 10, 12, miscellaneous, we'll just throw another five in just because so it'll give us 25 25 dollar what do we got 5 10 15 20 and 25 perfect okay miscellaneous is done and of course spoiled grandchildren gotta have an envelope for that there's 10 in there. We're going to put in another five. We took him last week also, or the week before. I think it came out on the 30th. Yeah, it came out on the 30th. We took him to his first movie to see Paw Patrol. He was amazed, and he laughed, and he sat through the entire movie and never even... He just glued to the, to the screen. So it was fun. It was fun to take him to his first movie and we know we can take him back again and he won't be a tyrant. <laughs> Not that he normally is, but you never know. It Because it was loud, you know what I mean? But so, okay. And this again is my money for next week. So my everyday binder is completed. Oh no. Hold on. Let's do this while we have it. This is my Callie. Um, did I even budget for her? I don't even think I budgeted in for her. Nope. I'll see what I can do. So this is, um, my daughter's coming home. My youngest daughter is coming home for, um, for the most of the month of, of December. She's moving to Boston. So she's leaving Arizona and then coming up here. Um, so I'm just putting some money away if we wanted to go and do something, but I don't think I, I budgeted this month for it. I don't think, oh, wait, hold on, maybe I did. Um, nope. All right, so we'll see what we can do. If I have any rollover money next week, I'll, I'll make sure it goes to her. So, okay, let's get monthly bills in here. Let's get monthly bills. Okay. Um, home loan payments. Spoiled got done. Um, home loan payments are going to get 25. So that will give me 725 altogether. And again, this is nice and thin now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, and 25. 725. I'm keeping this. Um, I think once it gets to, I don't know, a thousand, I'll take 500 of it and put it 
towards our home loan payment for the construction that we have going on. I want to keep a reserve just to be on the safe side. Um, Sav Saves, Savannah over at Sav Saves did the same thing. She had like a buffer for her car payment that she just kept in the bank in case anything ever came up that she couldn't make a payment. So it's basically an emergency fund for her car. So this will be an emergency buffer for my home loan payment. So 725, that is done. Okay. Let's see, we got, okay, trash. This needs to come out. So trash needs to come out because I need to pay this. Um, 10, 20, 21, and 22. And so we'll take this out. I have to, my trash do, is due by the 15th. Ooh, it's really raining outside. Um, so this is going to be a withdraw. So this will be 22, and this will be zero. Okay, now that's done. And then I'm going to take 11, put it in here. So this is... Um, this will be the first half of my trash payment that is due on November 15th. So we'll do that, deposit, 11, and then it'll give me 11. So I will drop that off this week. So that needs to go to the bank also. Okay, whoops, I smudged. Okay, perfect. So let me mark off trash. Um, where are you trash? There you are. Okay. Um, medical. Medical is getting 30. The reason that medical is getting 30 is because I have to go to the chiropractor and every time I go, it is a $40 copayment which I think is crap, but whatever. Medical insurance is getting so expensive. All right, so his 50, 60, 70, and there's 80. So I have enough here for two appointments. Okay, so that one is done. Car registration, I do not start stuffing again until January, so that's completed. I don't have to make that. I like the saying. It says, you can make money or you can make excuses. Your choice. It is your choice. All right, prescriptions. I know I took money out of here. How much do I have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so I took out $8 for a prescription. And I think that was, or I don't know, we're just going to put the fifth on there. So this is withdraw eight, which gave us 42. And now I am putting in 10. So 10, 12, deposit 10, which will be 52. And that's good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, and 52. Yay! All right. So that is done. Prescriptions, I can... Ca food I got, water I got, spending I got, miscellaneous I got. All right. Budgeting has one rule. Don't go over budget. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, hold on one second. I need to see, I think it was 113. Okay, so I think I have 115 in here right now. 50, 60, 70, 8, oh, maybe, oh, here it is. Okay. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115 needs to come out. So I can pay my water bill. Yes, it is very high. We were watering a lot trying to plant new grass. It'll drop a lot now. 
withdraw 115 so that got me to zero and now I'm putting in another 35 because generally it runs about $70 a month between that maybe a little bit less but I always budget a little bit more because you just don't ever know you don't ever know Lucy okay mm, purple so 10 12 we're going to deposit so this will be the first half of my payment that will be due the middle of November. So I'm always a month, well, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say a month ahead, but I'm always budgeting the month previous for the next month. So, so this is water, and that is done. And my dog Summer is behind me, whining like a little baby right now. Go lay down. Go. Go lay down. Go find Daddy. Go. Just whines. Sometimes she just whines. She's just a whiner. Whiner. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's do special events. Because then in my next video, we'll do holidays, birthdays, and pets. And then I'll do savings challenges. Okay. I don't think there's... I think there's just one or two in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got going on here? Um, I think hubby surprised I was only putting in five. Yes. Okay. So that'll take me to 215. Deposit. Five will take me to 215. Okay, so 100, 200, 10, and 15. Cool beans. Anniversary gets nothing right now. Vacation absolutely gets nothing. <laughs> and I don't think I put anything into date night. I think I was just going to leave it at 40. Yes. We'll go to dinner here at some point. So, okay. I think we're good. So every, all my other binders right now will be stuffed in um, part two, which I'm going to film next. So again, if my setup looks the same, that's the reason why. Okay? Once again, everybody, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you're getting in something out of these videos. Um, thank you for supporting the channel and... Uh, my budgeting journey and just trying to keep things moving. You know, sometimes that's the best you can do is just, you just do it one paycheck at a time. So um, comment, like, subscribe if you could. I would truly appreciate that. Again, big huge shout out to Lady Day, Sa uh, Lady Day, Lady Day Saves. Oh my gosh. Brain functions faster than the mouth can um, for promoting all of the other channels that are trying to get to a thousand subscribers um, and um, to every, all of the other YouTubers out there who are, you know, we're a family and we try to do what we can for each other. But thanks goes out to you guys because without you guys, we couldn't make this happen. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Happy budgeting.